Today on this side of the radio, we're going to go through my portable HF radio gear that I use when out doing parks on the air. I hope that's something that you like. If it is, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And also, stick around to the end and I'm going to show you how to set this mast up in no time flat. All right, guys, welcome back. Well, here it is. This is uh, about as minimal as you can get. Um, I'll just start at the front. I've got a 12 meter HD uh, antenna mast from Spider Beams. Uh, I have a drive on mount in case I need to. Uh, most of the time I just use the, the guy ropes and stuff, which I'll show you in just a minute. Uh, I have a notepad just in case the iPad goes down. But uh, most of the time I use the Hammers app as well as my iPad mini and a uh, Bluetooth keyboard. So in this case is my IC7300. Uh, doesn't really matter what radio you use, HF radio. I just chose the uh, 7300 because it, uh, it it served my purpose for both um, in the house, at, the, at home, as well as uh, out in the field. I absolutely love the radio and I can't say anything bad about it. And it works great uh, out in portable. In this case, I've got the uh, Miati uh, 16 amp hour battery that I use to power the 7300. And I only use about 50 watts when I'm out portable. So it works, it lasts forever. Uh, I did that three park activation here not too long ago and, and uh, man, it was, it was awesome. I still had quite a, a ton of charge whenever I got back to the house. Um, on top of that, I've got the power cable for the radio. I've got two extra sections of, of uh, rope, and uh, most of the time I use this to secure either end uh, or both ends of the uh, antenna that I use. Now I've got tent spikes with carabiners attached to them as well as a high visibility rope. I have three of those. This is for the guying system for the uh, antenna mast. Uh, I carry the handyman's second secret weapon, which is uh, bungee straps. And uh, on my first video, when I did my first activation with Parks on the Air, I, these came in very, very handy because I, uh, I couldn't set the mast up be uh, where I wanted to because of the, uh, the size of the area. So I ended up using these to strap it to a gate in order to get, <laughs> in order to get it secured enough where I could put the antenna up in the air. I have uh, 20 feet of coax. I have a 20 foot counterpoise to go with the uh, 40 through 10 NFAT half wave, which is my favorite antenna. Uh, and then the antenna itself. Now, this is a MFJ 1984 MP, so it's good up to 300 watts. It covers 40 through 10, uh, 66 foot uh, radiating element, and a uh, matching unit to go with it. And I'm going to do a full video on this because uh, this is actually my, my favorite antenna thus far. And uh, one extra tent spike with rope to attach to the end of the infed half wave in order to uh, make sure that it stays tight because that helps to keep the mass uh, secure as well. Um, and that's it. I've got uh, I have a screwdriver and uh, a spare set of fuses, but uh, that's it. And that's all it takes to get out on the air. Uh, I can set that up in the back of my vehicle. I've got a small table. Uh, that I sometimes use depending uh, if I need a place to set up that I, if I want to go outside the uh, the vehicle. Um, I've actually used that table inside the vehicle when the wind got too bad so it had dual purposes so but that's it. Uh, it doesn't have to be complicated um, if this works for me. It may not work for everybody but this absolutely works for me and and uh, I love it. All right, thanks for sticking with me to the end, guys. Here, as promised, this is the way that I set these, these masks up. This has been the easiest thing for me. So what I do, thanks to Mike, uh, K8 MRD radio stuff, uh, I use the same kind of setup that he does, where it's uh, just a, a Jubilee clip, as they will, uh, and three pieces of rope with carabiners attached to them. And I take the back, the back two, and I run those out, and I set those stakes in on both sides. So, then when I stand this pole up, it's going to have tension on both sides of this. So, I here, I'll show you how this works. So, we stand this up. Now, that's already tight. And this pole will stand up by itself without it. 
you can let go of them and it'll stay there. So what I do is I just grab this, this back rope and I stretch it out all the way till I get to the end. Just keep this line tight. Let's see if I can stick it in. There we go. And that's it. It's up and it's guide and it's ready to go. This will hold it up to about, uh, I don't know, a good 10, 15 mile per hour wind. Um, I've got three ropes at the bottom uh, and I have some aluminum tent stakes that uh, uh, I will put into these as well to hold the bottom to keep them from kicking out. But that's it. It's that easy. Three ropes, you can use four if you want to use four. And then when you get ready to take it down, just grab this stake. Keep the rope tight and walk towards it and then just let it lay over. And that's it. One-handed, if I can do it uh, with a camera, Anybody can do it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit the like and subscribe button. There's going to be a video pop up here that's going to have more information on this mast. Hope you guys are having a great week, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.